Hello, my friend. You are listening to episode number 33 of Tidepod, and today I am coming at you with a really, really practical episode about meetings. Now, don't get me wrong. I know that especially those of us who came from a corporate background or those of us who are just a part of one too many teams, meetings can really be the bane of our existence. Like, let's keep it real. Sometimes it can be the least pleasurable part of being an adult human who has to work with a team. Now, this is often an issue that does stand out more in the corporate crowd where they are in like 10 meetings a day. But with online biz owners who prioritize efficiency, sometimes we can leave this conversation a little short. So today, instead of diving like super deep into all the things, I wanted to bring to your attention a particular type of meeting that I think a lot of business owners, especially online business owners, could truly benefit from. And that is the stand-up meeting. So sit back, get your pen and paper out, and let's get ready to dive on in. Hi there. Thanks for tuning in to Thai Pod, a podcast crafted by Tiana Thai to help you purify your purpose in business, love, and life. Whether you're an entrepreneur, dog mom, or just getting started, you're bound to find value as Tiana dives into meaningful topics each episode. So settle in, turn up the volume, and welcome your host, Tiana Tai. I've got to take just a quick second to ask you for a serious bit of support. TIEPOD would not be possible without your reviews, your comments, and just all of the positive feedback that we've been receiving so far. So if you haven't already, please go on, hit subscribe to make sure you're not missing out on any of this good and free content, and also be sure to leave a review. You may think that I'm not looking at them, but I swear to you, my friend, I read every single review and it just makes my heart so happy. So if you haven't already done so, hit pause, leave a review, and then let's get back to the goodness. Okay, so first things first, you know I got to give you the origin story, the why, the where does this meeting type come from, right? So super simply put, Stand-ups come from the Scrum Project Management Methodology, a.k.a. the Agile Methodology. Now, this is, again, project management uh, practices, and it helps teams become more effective, productive, and efficient. And this project management methodology does come out of the tech sector, but y'all, think about how quickly they can turn around some new technology. You know what I'm saying? So they are actually experts at this type of stuff, and it is seeping its way a little bit more into the online space. I've definitely seen some coaches out there uh, sharing different practices and techniques that they use for other things, and they are actually based in Scrum and Agile methodology. So if you've never heard of it, definitely go Google that. But I'm not going to bore you with any more details. (laughs) That is where it comes from. So if you want to do a little more research, feel free. Okay, so let's talk about what it actually is. Like, why does this meeting type have its own name? What's different about it? Blah, 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 blah. Okay, so stand-up meetings are named, honestly, as simply as possible. It's a meeting in which team members are encouraged to stand rather than sit because that enhances engagement and participation and the energy, right? And they're supposed to quickly provide their entire team with an update on where they are focused. So when I say... People love this type of meeting as opposed to more traditional meetings because it is supposed to be short. Any stand-up meeting is not actually supposed to go over 15 minutes, which is why in larger companies, the meeting is kept to a team of 15 people or less. Why? Each person only has one minute tops to share their update. So what goes in that update? What are the three elements of a good stand-up? I'm so glad you asked. Let's break it down real quick. So the first element of a good stand-up is going over accomplishments. So if I were a part of a stand-up meeting and it was my turn to go, the first thing I would share with the team is what I have accomplished in the past 24 hours, right? You can kind of just brag on yourself, or if it's a little mundane, you can just give the straight up, this is what I did, X, Y, and Z, moving on. 
Okay, so part two to a good stand-up is goals. So again, if it was my turn to share, I would share those accomplishments, and then I would say, so these are my goals for today. These are the main objectives that I hope to achieve by end of day, and let me tell you why. And then part three is obstacles. This is the money, right? So you want to stand up and share any questions, concerns, or maybe roadblocks that you are anticipating may get in the way of your progress. So if you put all of this together, let me think of a quick example. So if I was doing a stand up with my team this morning, I even as the leader would definitely participate and I would say, okay, Yesterday, I did two discovery calls, and then I completed the rest of my Instagram content for the month. All right, so then I would share my goals, and I would say, today, I hope to just go back and double-check that Instagram content and proof it, and then I hope to partner with the graphic designer and get all of the graphics situated for that. The obstacles that I'm coming up right now, I don't have any obstacles and that's okay, but I want to hear from you guys and make sure that if you guys are having any trouble, I can get you the help that you need. All right. So then let's say your social media manager stands up, right? And they're like, okay, so yesterday I did all of my lead generating engagement. So I engaged with 20 new ICAs and then I went in and nurtured the community on behalf of Tiana. And today my goal is to do the exact same thing, but I did forget one small thing yesterday and I just want to go in and make sure I can wrap that up. And the obstacle that I'm having, I am having a little bit of trouble distinguishing the perfect ICA from someone who may just like not quite fit exactly who Tiana is setting out to serve. So Tiana, if we could take like 15 minutes this morning and jump on a call and we could just like go over some things to refresh my memory, that would be really helpful. Done. Okay, so what I want to point out here with the obstacles is you see how I didn't have an obstacle, but maybe my social media manager had an obstacle, but we do not try to solve it right then and there in the meeting. Because remember, this is supposed to be a really quick meeting, productive and efficient. Instead, what we did is express exactly what we needed. So my social media manager expressed, I need a call with Tiana for 15 minutes just to get some clarity. Or a VA could say, I actually need to talk to the website designer for 15 minutes because we need to fix this one page and it's my responsibility, but I really am lost in this tech stuff, right? Okay, so the obstacle portion is expressing what they need. And then even if they don't know who they need to talk to, the team should be able to jump in and say, ooh, I think you should talk to X, Y, and Z. So now that you've heard a couple examples, just to recap, the three elements to a good stand-up are sharing your accomplishment, your goal, and your obstacles. All of this should be wrapped in like a 24 hour. So yesterday I accomplished this. Today my goal is to accomplish this. The obstacles that are in my way today are. And each member of the team should be able to give this really quick recap of exactly what's going on and just share it with everybody on the team. Now, this is a really great thing for a number of reasons. Obviously, as a leader, this is going to make you aware of exactly how people are spending their time in your business on a daily basis. And especially if you have a larger team, this can just be really, really helpful. It's like 15 minutes of your day, but you're no longer left wondering, are people focused on the right thing? Like what's so-and-so doing? Is so-and-so even doing what I asked them to do? You will clarify that in this little stand-up. Now also, sharing this information across an entire team is extremely beneficial to the team members because they're going to get to start to see how the pieces and the strategy, the pieces of this puzzle are coming together, right? The bigger picture of your business. And this is one of those things that as leaders, we hope to be able to explain and communicate. But at the end of the day, if people can't really see what's going on, especially for you online business owners where everybody is remote, it is really hard to get a sense of the bigger picture. Now, they also, bonus, they also may hold the solutions to one another's obstacles, right? So you as the leader, you're not supposed to be like omniscient. You're not supposed to know absolutely everything. So little do you know someone who's having a tech problem, someone else on your team just by simple experience, not even expertise, may know exactly how to fix that. So that could save you guys time and money by not having to go out and reach out to that one tech contractor you work with every so often and things like that, right? 
All right, so let's say I have convinced you of the many benefits of the daily stand-up meeting. You're starting to think, okay, this could be something I can incorporate. Maybe not daily. We'll work that out. Don't worry. I'm going to talk about that next. Um, But I'm a little bit curious and want to know more. So real quick, I just want to break down the delivery of the meeting for you because traditionally, obviously, this was made for traditional brick-and-mortar businesses. Um... That's where the practice comes from. So they would actually get together in a room every morning, and this would be the very first meeting this team would do across the company. Everybody would do this, right? So in the online space, that's not practical. We can't do that. So how do we deliver this meeting efficiently? Super simple. There are actually a couple of ways, but I'm going to give you the best to what I will settle for because y'all know how I am. So the absolute best is going to be on video. Yes, duh. That's how I tell you guys to do all your meetings. Um, But if you do it on something like Zoom, that's always really great. Literally still a quick hit. So this still should not be some big production. Everybody jump on pajamas, no makeup. I don't care what you look like. We're still going to do our top th- our three, so our accomplishments, our goals, and our obstacles, and we're just going to do it over video so we can see each other's faces, we feel the energy, um, and it's just a little bit more personalized that way. Now, sometimes, and I'm going to talk about this in depth in just a moment, but we don't have the ability to get everybody on a video call at the same time. So I will explain the actual um, compromise in just a second. But what you, the technology you could use in that case is doing something like Slack or uh, using some sort of other messaging board or something like that, where one, I still recommend you do it via video. It's just not live video. So you can have all of your team members submit basically their stand up every morning and encourage the entire team just to click through and quickly watch to see what's going on across the team. Um, If that is still impossible, Last but not, I mean, last and least, I'm not going to say but not least, last and least, you can do this written, and I've seen that done as well, where there will be a message chain, and every morning all of the team members will pop in, takes literally less than a minute, a person takes 30 seconds to say, this is what I did yesterday, this is my goal, this is what I'm having trouble with, and you can at somebody if you know they can help you, or if you don't know who can help you, have your team member at you so that you can connect them with the resources or the person that they should be speaking with. And those are my three ways of delivery. So just to recap, live video like Zoom, uh, simple video submission. So record something on Loom or literally just on your phone and submit it to a channel or even like a Google Drive. It's up to you. And third is a message chain where everybody knows exactly where they're supposed to go in the morning, pop in their little message with their daily stand up and then read all through them and move on with your day. Okay, so I'm going to pause because you may be worried, even though I've already said it, I know how you are. And you might be wondering, I don't have time for this, Tiana. Like, how much time does this take? Another meeting, are we serious? Okay, this does not take much time. So everybody take a deep breath. Just take a deep breath with me. It's all good. Basic practice is that a stand-up is one minute per person, which I mentioned a bit ago. And responding to any obstacles, again, should not take place on the call. It's really connecting people with the resources that they need or scheduling a follow-up call with a particular subgroup of people after the stand-up. So so all in all, a stand-up should take no more than 15 minutes. And if it's taking 15 minutes, you should have at least 10 to 12 people on your team. You see what I'm saying? So if you only have a team of five, a stand-up could literally take like five or six minutes. And that's what's so great about it. And that's why other business owners find the time to do this every single day. Now, next, I do want to talk to you about the frequency Just in terms of like, do you have to do this thing every day? Because I know in the online space, our teams sometimes are pretty complex. We have got a lot of different makeup. So the considerations and the challenges are a little bit different. So let's go ahead and talk about that. My initial advice for figuring out how often you should be having stand up meetings, if this is something that appeals to you, is relatively simple. I want you to assess this for yourself. There are no hard and fast rules. This is your business after all. So I will go ahead and give the disclaimer. 
if you were doing a traditional stand-up meeting according to Scrum, project management methodology, yada, 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 right? You would be doing this every single day, Monday through Friday, 15 minutes tops. So it is supposed to be a quick hit. It is supposed to be as frequent as possible because that is what allows for like peak alignment, efficiency, and productivity in a team. But it would be... It would be wrong for me not to acknowledge the fact that teams in the online space are a lot different. We work different. We do things different. So let's go ahead and talk about it. There are no hard and fast rules, like I said, but I know that you love some examples so you can start to picture what this could look like for you depending on the makeup of your team, right? So let's start with an example and I'll tell you what I would do. So let's say you have a team of eight and most team members are actually in your business on a daily basis. And there are a lot of moving parts. We've got a podcast management team with an editor and a producer. We've got social media management. We've got another VA who is just kind of like the catch-all. We've got the tech expert. We've got the graphic designers. We've got you as the leader. Maybe you're a coach or some other service provider, right? So there are a lot of different pieces moving around all day, every day. Most of the time in a team like this, We are working with contractors who have varying schedules and other clients, which can be a huge challenge. So maybe having a live daily stand-up where everybody is jumping on for 15 minutes at the same time every day, that may be not only too much, that may be, quite frankly, a little bit impossible just given the scope of everybody's different responsibilities, all the things they're juggling. So if this sounds like your team, my advice is to organize a stand-up that maybe is not happening live at a specific time every day. Instead, we call this um, synchronous versus asynchronous. So synchronous is like if you and I were on the phone, we're talking to each other live and there's no delay in communication. But asynchronous is like an email or a message board where somebody could communicate to someone else and there could be a delay in response. So when it comes to teams where it's really difficult to get everybody in the same place every day, because honestly, you may not even like pay for that much of their time, like let's keep it real, you know what I'm saying? Then doing something like getting everybody onto a Slack chain and that's where you guys keep your daily standups. And instead of doing it on a Zoom or on a call, we hold this standup in a Slack channel. That could be a really interesting way to do this, right? Where you are allowing everybody to come in and tell you their three. So their accomplishments, their goals, and their obstacles at the time that they start working in your business during the day, okay? So that is a really cool workaround for teams that are very dispersed or can't even commit the time to show up at the exact same time every day. All right, I'm gonna give you another example. Uh, Let's say you have a team of four and the only people or the only person that is doing any work on a daily basis, like day in and day out, is your VA who does a lot of your social media management and also some tech work. Okay. Now, the other team members, let's say they spend a couple hours a week working on tasks, but they're really like project by project. So even if you do have a podcast manager, it's just the one person. Um, They're only doing three hours a week of work for your podcast and that's really all they're doing and they're very like siloed in that role, right? This could be a case where a daily stand-up may not be very helpful because the majority of people on your team aren't doing things in your business daily. Does that make sense? I hate to say it so simply, but like it is what it is. So I still want you to consider utilizing a daily stand-up because let me break it down as simply as I can. When I speak to these teams, these are the people who also may not want to do a weekly team meeting that lasts 45 minutes. And I'm not mad at that because if that is not an efficient use of time and you guys don't even have things to talk about and issues to work through and things to brainstorm on for 45 minutes every Monday, then I don't want you utilizing your time in that way, right? So for a team like this, which honestly is the majority of teams in the first couple of years of their business, I want you to consider replacing some of those longer weekly meetings with a daily stand-up. 
or I'll take the word daily out of it, with a stand-up. So what could that actually look like? Let's look at one month. Maybe the first Monday of the month, you have a traditional, quote-unquote, team meeting where it's like 45 minutes. You as the leader are sharing your goals and your strategy for the month. You are setting expectations, yada, yada, yada. Then every other Monday of the month, you are doing a stand-up, but instead of everybody sharing their three things for the day, you have the team come prepared to share their um, accomplishments from last week, their goals for this week, and the obstacles they foresee coming for this week. So we can expand the bounds of the stand-up for that purpose. This is a very creative way to do this, but honestly, for the makeup of a lot of teams in this space, this could be excellent because it's ensuring that you guys are connecting at least once a week as a team, but it is doing so in the most simple and efficient way possible. And I just love it. So here you guys go. My point is this in giving you those two examples, the big team who everybody's working in the business all day, every day, and the little team where it's kind of more sporadic, like a lot of teams in the first few years of business. You, my friend, know the complexities that exist in your team right now. You know the schedules, the varying hours they contribute to your business, how many clients they have aside from you, all of that stuff. I'm encouraging you to take a look at the big picture and start thinking about how stand-ups can be incorporated into your business. Simply open the conversation up to your team members. Ask for their take on it. Ask them how you can incorporate it in a way that's going to improve your team's communication and alignment without feeling overwhelming and intrusive. There you have it. That is my spiel on running a stand-up meeting for your online business. Again, customize this, make it fit your business model. But definitely, if you figure out a way to incorporate stand-ups in your daily team operations, let me know. I'm here to learn from you and learn how you have made it fit your business. So I will see you on the next episode, my friend. Mm -hmm.